Today we talk turbochargers. Welcome back everybody. This is the fifth installment of the GTR drag car video documentary. Today we're talking about the turbo kit. Something that we have been very excited about ever since we went to PRI back in December. Uh, we forged a partnership with Tile Sport Force Performance and Zona Rotor on their new tur turbocharger design that they released for 2019 and we couldn't be more excited about the potential of what these turbos can do. So what we're going to talk about today is some of the technology that's gone into that and give you guys a little bit of insight as to how it works and why they did what they did and some of the power gains that people are seeing out of these cars with this new turbocharger. All right, for those of you that are familiar with the shop drag car, we've been running Zona Rotor on it basically since the beginning. I originally started off with an 8267 and quickly realized the power potential of those turbos and we've since then upgraded to the 9567, which is what you can see here. Cool thing about that was that was just a compressor cover and wheel change on the turbo. But Zona came out with something pretty revolutionary over the past few months, and they've just now releasing it to the market. And it's not on the compressor side of this turbo. It's on the turbine side. So let's take a look. So the turbine side of the new Zona rotor, this is the XR9569S. And you'll see something very unique here that's not on typical turbine wheel designs. You see every other blade there is a half blade. And this does several things for the turbo. One, it lightens up the inertia so you can uh, bring up the turbo faster because you have basically less mass on every other wheel. There's ten blades here but only five of them are fully extended. The other thing is, is this relieves a choke flow limitation that you would see on a smaller frame turbo like this. If you think about it, the exit gases have to pass past every blade here, but when you got every other blade about half the depth, it removes that choke flow limitation. So on a T3 frame turbo, you have a great reduction in turbo back pressure. You might think to yourself, okay, well, what happens to putting torque on the turbo shaft to be able to make power? Well, as far as the gases exiting the engine are concerned, they haven't seen any reduction in the ability to apply torque to the shaft because as it's exiting the volute on the turbine housing, it's still pressing on each blade the same amount. Those gases don't know that only half of the, every other wheel is there. So it still can accelerate the turbo and apply the power to the turbo just like it normally would. But when it needs to exit the engine, every other blade is removed. And the choke flow limitation and basically the drive pressure or exhaust back pressure is significantly reduced. You know, a few other things worth mentioning about Zona that we really love is this billet stainless steel center cartridge. It has the biggest cooling jackets in the industry. We've never seen these turbos run hot or damage oil seals. And we've run these things basically with all the boost all the time. It also has some integrated oil screens and filters built into it so when something bad happens to your engine you don't take your turbocharger out with it. You know, this has been the same center section we've ran for almost four years now in various installations and builds. It's gone through two different compressor cover changes. Now we're running the new and improved S line of the turbine wheel. Same center section. I'm very, very impressed with what Zona Rotor is able to produce. You know, not to mention our other partners, Tile Sport and Forced Performance. We're still running the 44mm gate, 
with boost control on top and bottom with all hard AN lines. And then we still have the old tried and tested ETS exhaust manifold. That's Originally, this thing started out as an ETS turbo kit, but this manifold is really the only thing that's left of it. Everything else has been 100% customized. We port matched the inside of the manifold. We've also added EGT on every single runner that's greatly helped us improve the tune and the fueling for each cylinder. Also helped us identify problems when we've uncovered them. We can narrow it down to a specific cylinder ex with extreme accuracy because the EGT probes show everything on the log. So you guys are probably wondering what's the power increase? So this turbo is a 68 millimeter class turbo for GTR racing and on smaller versions of this turbo in testing Zona Rotor had put these on a 997 turbo running at about I think it was 35 psi or so and at that same boost pressure they picked up over a hundred horsepower due to the engine's ability to just exhale better or the reduction in the back pressure so we have very high hopes for what we're gonna see on this engine you know Tim Switzer has also been testing this same turbo and at World Cup they went 745 at 185 miles an hour and that was a full way car pretty basic setup and I could not have been more impressed and I was Switzer's biggest fan that week and unfortunately they had a transmission failure but they were the number one qualifier in the 68 millimeter class by a long shot so we are very excited to see what we can do in Texas with these new turbos from Zona Rotor so until the next update thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.